Moving on. In India, meanwhile, the president, Draupadi Murmu, addressed the joint sitting of both houses of parliament. It was the first presidential address after the formation of the third National Democratic Alliance government. Congratulating the newly elected MPs, she addressed key issues facing the country, including the neat examination paper leak case, the issue of asylum seekers, and the upcoming union budget. Now, here are some key highlights of her speech. President Murmu said that the high voter turnout in Jammu and Kashmir in the elections has given a befitting reply to the enemies of India, both inside and outside, by breaking all polling records. इस चुनाव की बहुत सुखद तस्वीर जम्मू कश्मीर में भी सामने आए हैं। कश्मीर घाटी में वोटिंग के अनेक दशकों के रिकॉर्ड टूटे हैं। बीते दोस चार दशकों में कश्मीर में हमने बॉन्ड और हड़ताल के बीच कम मतदान का दौर ही देखा था। भारत के दुश्मन इसको बौसिक मंचों पर जो मुकेशमीर की राय के रूप में दुष्प्रचारित करते रहे, लेकिन इस बार कश्मीर घाटी ने देश और दुनिया में ऐसे हार ताकत को करारा जवाब दिया है। President Murmu assured that the union budget, which will be presented in the parliament, will be testimony of the government's far-reaching policies and futuristic vision. She said, along with major economic and social decisions, historical steps will be taken in the budget, adding that the pace of reforms will be further accelerated, keeping in mind people's aspirations for rapid development. Another key takeaway of her speech is the government's commitment to the environment. She said that the government is increasing investments in green industries, which will lead to increase in green jobs. She said the government is committed to making cities in India the best living spaces in the world. Now, addressing the recent instances of paper leaks in some examinations like NEET and NETUG, President Murmu said that her government is committed to a fair investigation and ensuring strict punishment to the culprits. She urged all political parties to rise above party politics and undertake concrete nationwide measures. Touching upon the widely debated Citizenship Amendment Act, President Murmu said that the government has started granting citizenship to refugees under the CAA, ensuring a dignified life to many families who have suffered due to partition. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.